YouTube just pushed out a massive update to the design on their website. Everything is rounded. Dark mode has this really cool ambient lighting effect going on around videos, and the red sub button is gone forever. So what do you do if you are using some subscribe call to action graphics from the old design? Uh, you use this new one instead. It looks something like this. Or it could actually look something like this. Uh, or even this. And if you wanted to get it a little dangerous, you could even add a little bit of this. Eh? Today I'm releasing a new preset for DaVinci Resolve that does all of this. If you follow the link in the description and pick up this preset, uh, inside a zip file you will then download is this SSC YT Sub DRFX. You just double click that, it will load it into Resolve, and then on any timeline in the effects library, you can come to Toolbox, Title, Sterling Supply Company, and then you have this SSC YT Sub. Drag that right onto your timeline, and then when you play that, it'll just, hey, pop up, click through to the bell, notifications on, slide out, Animate out. Ooh, it's slick. I'll zoom in, give you a little better look. Hey, scales up. You have your name, subs, spot for a profile picture. This animation plays through, it goes away. Cool. Five seconds, I think it feels pretty good. I also really like it right around 10 seconds. It does the same thing, runs through that animation at that same pace, but just sits a little bit longer, and then we'll eventually get to that final animation out as well. But hey, you might not like that scale in animation. Well, you can click on the effect, come all the way down to animation type, change that over to slide instead, and now whew, just slides in from the bottom. Ooh, so clean. Look at that. Ooh. And then that same uh, cursor animation plays out, going through all your subscribe options. It's slick. And you can notice a big feature here is this sort of ambient lighting effects we're pulling in uh, from that new feature on YouTube. And that is set right at the top uh, when we use dark mode. And yes, dark mode is a switch. Don't want dark mode? Hop it over to light mode. Uh, no color effects here, but it is really nice and clean and smooth. Plays through that same animation. But if you are on dark mode, uh, you can change this up to be any color on this gradient. Really nice, purple to green, why not? You can even click on this gradient to add more points so it cycles between them all. Uh, you could pack this full of them, why not? I don't know, it's yours now. And of course you have a spot to load in a custom profile picture, change up the text to anything you like, and then those animation controls for how it animates in. Uh, we do have motion blur for both uh, those animation in as well as the cursor flying around. Motion blur can look really cool, uh, will probably take quite a bit longer to process. But that's not all. Uh, to show this off, why don't we go ahead and jump over to light mode, because uh, we have these wiggle settings. I will click that and it bumped around a little bit and you'll see now when this slides in now it just has this ambient sort of wheel going on it's still nice and sleek and clean but now it just has a little bit more of an eye-catching feel to it and then that animates out uh, you do have custom controls for the strength how far do you want it to wiggle uh, how random do you want that motion to be and then at what speed do you want all of that to play out so it does follow this new YouTube design uh, but of course especially in dark mode uh, with these colors you have tons of room to customize this to perfectly fit your channel and hey once you get all these settings up and you've loaded your custom image in and all that you can open up a power bin drag that title right from your timeline to that bin and then in any new timeline you can drag that back in uh, at, at, at any point when you're making your video and hey uh, all those changes you made are perfectly set uh, this profile picture might need to be adjusted depending on a uh, resolution of your timeline versus resolution of the profile image But especially if you customize this preset on one timeline resolution and you're moving to another timeline of the same resolution Should be totally fine and depending on when you are watching this video You might be able to follow that link in the description and pick up this preset completely for free This is something new. I'm trying on the channel I have uh, dozens of free presets and plugins that will stay free forever but i'm trying something new going forward especially on things that are a little bit more built out on this where they are free for a limited time and then go behind a small paywall last week i put out these amazing write on text presets uh, now that i'm releasing this video those presets which have been free up to this point will go behind that paywall it's a little reward for people who stay active on the channel although these presets will always stay available uh we're just trying something new we're keeping it fresh on the channel still making really cool powerful stuff but hey uh stay plugged into the channel cool stuff's always happening as always, lots more cool stuff coming soon. I have some ideas uh, I'm really excited about, uh, including masking. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.